Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to the Don't Escape Trilogy, specifically Don't Escape 1, which was a series of horror to suspenseful flash adventure games from way back in the day. I myself have not played these back in their initial release, and this is a, you could call this a kind of complimation, kind of commercial product version of all these games. So I'll finally be going for this series and um, seeing why they were so popular back then. I woke up in a room. The room is not locked and I remember everything. I'm a werewolf. Tonight I will turn and people will die unless I find a way to prevent myself from leaving this place. I must make sure that whatever happens, I don't escape. See that? It's a misleading title. You're supposed to not escape. But then we're going to escape, because I'm just going to walk out this door right now. And leave. And see if that's an ending. Which I guess it isn't. At the moment, at least. Picked up some chopped wood logs. An axe. A bit rusty, but still sharp. I don't know, it seems kind of like we, we can escape just fine. There was a chain under the roof. So do we need to chain ourselves up? Got some rope. Strong rope. What's this? Found a dried herb. A hook. Solid looking table. Barrels seem to be empty and no use to me. Would you say they're useless? It's locked. It was a key in one of the pockets. Well, I am finding items everywhere. A bed. A candle. It's empty. Empty. Em Tinder box. There's time. Wait till dusk. Finish game when ready. Oh, I see. So that's if I just want to, like, game over? Let me see what happens. You, drop by MC on yourself. You will wait till the sun sets and the full moon rises. You're already starting to feel the urge, the hunger. Are you sure you're ready? Sure. Transformation was complete. Stamina 100%? What? Werewolf was hungry, craving for flesh. He looked around the hut, sniffing. Then he started looking for a way out. He was very furious and hungry. He wanted to get out of the hut, this hut fast. Never door nor window was locked. Door was even closed! At last, the werewolf was free. Aftermath, a bloodbath. Werewolf attacked the village and killed ten people, eating some of them alive. While the werewolf was busy killing, a party of monster hunters arrived. They've cornered the werewolf and killed him without any mercy. We deserved it, let's be honest. I like how... I just like how it's like, oh yeah, the door wasn't even closed. Alright. Let's go and get everything real quick again. I kind of remember where everything was. What's the mushroom do? Ask myself a question. Damn. I tied myself with a rope. I can't move, I'm tied. That's smart. But you can untie yourself. Okay, I want to see what happens. What if I just chain myself? And rope. What if I just let it wait now? See, I like this, I like this freeform movement. It's a little bit of roleplay. Oh, we just broke out of that just fine. I didn't do anything. Okay, he bit off the rope that was restraining him. I see how this works now. Then he struggled with a chain for a while. He was very furious and hungry. He wanted to get out fast. 
That door in the window was locked. It wasn't even closed. The last world was free. So it's like a score. It's like the, the better the score, the least carnage we do. Killed seven people. One of the villagers was bit but lived. He considered himself lucky, at least until the next full moon. While the werewolf was busy killing, a party of monster hunters arrived. They cornered the werewolf and killed him without any mercy. Alright. Let's try to beat this for real now. Enough games. So, close the door at the moment. We gotta probably bar that door. Like that. Right? So we're supposed to buy time. In a sense. Close that window. Should we be boarding these up? Because you, you mean... You... What about if we chain the window? Huh. Oh. And I'm wondering if, if there's an option for us just to like... Well, eliminate ourselves. With this broom. Can I use this broom? I don't need this. The pot is filled with cold water. Fireplace is empty. Glass bottle. Yes, no ammunition. Antlers. A hunter must have lived here. The hut looks abandoned. I'll stay here for a while and figure out what to do. I hope I haven't eaten whoever lived here. Tonight there's a full moon. Just as I expected, the witch talked in riddles. She said that to weaken the beast, I would need a handful of hot dust, a crunchy herb, and something that grows in earth, yet is not a plant. You mean a root? Or a mushroom? I guess you could consider that a fungus. She also mentioned that it would wear off quite fast. Okay, so what do we got here? A mushroom, logs of wood, put that there, fireplace, an axe, chain, key. Well, the key would go here. Or, 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 or not. Not? Can I, can I lock the door? Well, I've already barred myself. No, okay. You can lock the door. Let's just go outside real quick. Now, I can't see any way to bar a window or anything. So let's go in. Let's close that. Let's lock the door. Then let's move this again, so we block that out. I really feel like this window should be closed better, but I don't know how to do it. Let's light this fire. There. Get some light. We need, like, ash or something, right? A handful of hot dust. Then the pot, an herb, a mushroom, I might have wasted some things. I don't know, I've taken the potion. An awful taste. But we still need to open that crate. There's something I'm like not clicking right. The axe would be used for something. There we got some wood. I could use those planks. A hook. locked. Um, why is the wood just, like, randomly on the ground? Well, it's whatever. Oh, there's a key. 
And I don't think we can latch that. Let's see. Okay. I feel like the one thing's gonna haunt me. The recipe. Hammer and some nails. Okay. Now, now things are making sense. They're making they're making some sense now. But we are one tough werewolf. What we got here meat and spice. Ah, the recipe is gonna be wrong. Damn. Well, whatever. It's all we can do. If we get a bad ending, we'll just jump, skip, and do it right. Restoration was complete. The weakening potion didn't work at all. Yep, I told you that was wrong. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. Then he struggled with a chain for a while. Meat on a hook provided distraction. But not for long, he hit it fast. He started ramming the blocked door. It took him some time to break the lock. At last, the werewolf was free. See, so just short, because the potion didn't work. A frightful night. Werewolf attacked the village and killed two people, partly eating one of them alive. The werewolf had fled into the woods before a party of monster hunters arrived. They didn't manage to track the beast. Well, we got a different ending. Herb. Spice. And mushroom. What if the roots even used for anything? Okay, potion. Potion. We're off quite fast. Pour the potion on the meat. So that way we like consume it, I guess, and slow ourselves down. So the root is just... I guess it's just a trap to make us ruin the recipe. Hmm. Let's go. Okay, transformation complete. Hungry, craving for flesh. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. And he struggled with a chain for a while. The beat on the hook provided distraction, but after eating it, he felt very dizzy. He started ramming the blocked door. It took some time to break the lock. At last, the werewolf was free. Aftermath. A calm night. The werewolf broke free from the hut, but it took him much time and effort. Weakened by the poison, tired from ramming the door, he had no strength left. He fled to the woods, unnoticed by anyone. But I'm still a werewolf, which could be a plus in some ways. Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Don't Escape 2, part of the Don't Escape trilogy. This one is specifically about a zombie apocalypse, which is always fun. When the undead attacked, we weren't ready. Thinking back, we were never fully ready for this. The whole outbreak started over two weeks ago, and it's been getting worse ever since. This time, we've barely made it. We got away, but Bill got bitten. We both knew what that meant. We decided to stay in this abandoned building for a while. We needed to rest and sleep. A huge horde of the living dead is coming this way. They will reach us by the sunset. I have to lock this place up before that happens, and maybe, just maybe, I will live to see another day. So, there is, looks like there's a time mechanic. You can just wait. It's just like the first one with the werewolf. Just step outside. Let's just wait. Undead 50. The sun has set and a horde of 50 undead arrived. The broken fence didn't stop anyone. There was nothing in their way in the front yard. The door was wide open. Attackers simply entered your hideout. Yeah, I'm just standing here. 
Phil was not giving any signs of life for a while now, until that moment when he suddenly stood up, joining the ranks of the undead. You didn't have a gun to defend yourself. No place to run, no place to hide. Fifty-one of them attacked you. Knocked you down and slowly ate you piece by piece. Game over. You didn't make it. You just stood there. When the undead attacked, we weren't ready. Okay. Let's go out. There was a key in the trash. There was a pair of copper wires in the trash. Start clicking everything. What should I place here? Hmm. Generator's not running. Seems to be out of fuel. I could fix up some spare wire fence. Here's the base. Travel to unknown location. Ten minutes. Before we go, let's look at everything we have here. There's a person here. My friend Bill, he's been binning it. The pain. Can't stand the pain. You know what you gotta do, buddy. A window. Yeah, that's... There's some sand inside. A shovel. A hatch. It's locked. I have to find a way to open it. Key doesn't fit in here. Interesting. Now let's go out. There's a 9mm bullet hidden in the hole. Small metal cutter. Okay, we got some items here. So I'm curious, does the time only go down when I leave? Maybe. 12 hours, 7 hours, 50 minutes left. Okay. Hey, look. There's that axe from the werewolf game. Bag of cement. It's too heavy to carry around like that. It's gonna be useful, though, later. A survivor. Whoops, accidentally left. I've lost my faith. Well then. How about... Here. This key will restore your faith. Well, good for you. Nine million more blood. Wow, that was real pixel buried. Can I like, move my mouse around? So that is the church. On the location, 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes. So the distance does matter. I see how it starts to add up. So what do we got here? We have a bullet. Gas canister is empty. Definitely gonna need gas. No, 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 don't leave. I think it's out of order, and out of gas. Let's go inside. Now, can I be attacked? Batteries. Ball of water. Cash register. It's my lucky day. A single coin. Some painkillers left in here. It's locked. This key wouldn't happen to work here, weirdly, would it? Okay, I didn't think so. Axe it! A comfortable looking armchair. So you don't have time to sin rest. Never bullet. Rubber hose. Poor aquarium. All the fish are dead. Now we got guppy zombies. Criminal stories by someone called. We knew gas station workers who could read that much. Sanrio Plexus Incorporated? Mention novels. Which one up now? Small window. That window is a little curious. 
Looks like Axe won't help me here. Cop car. Hey, gun. Nice. Seems to be undamaged. No fuel. Dang. Can't solve everything with the axe, man. Like, lots of long branches and sticks. Potentially useful. I need a tool for that. Task will take two hours. Wait one moment. How much of it left? Nothing useful here. I think the fuel tank is intact. Full fuel canister. Okay. We should probably get the sticks now. Hmm. Or is this a trap? Does things, do things get worse if we wait too long? Alright. Let's try it. I don't know if that was the wrong decision or not, but... Any hidden bullets here? Hey, a dude. Hi there, I'm Jeremy. I'm sorry, I can't see you clearly. I lost my glasses. I will help you gladly if you find my glasses. I've lost them somewhere in that store. Of course, I'll place with a chain. Um, our inventory is getting a little too fat. There is hope. Challenge drawing. I hope they're okay. Whoever they're, wherever they are. They may have to show that to the, the priest. Only a child's drawing can heal. Metal cutter. Now I have a shopping cart for heavy items, which will be useful for getting that, uh... Now, am I capped with that shopping cart? Can I get the, the cement with that? I don't know. Oh, there is a zombie here. Alcohol. It's the camera. Barry's not included. There we go. Cash register empty. Lock and loaded. Yes. A pair of glasses. We're done here anyways. I think. Here, glasses. Thank you, in turn I will help you. Well, let's go. Lead the way. Oh, I can take a photo of this. I get it. This will give the, the priest hope. Right. Got some bricks. Got some cement. Hope! Oh, maybe. Maybe you're right. I think I'll go with you. Maybe my faith is somewhere out there. Let's leave this place. Okay. Jeremy and Father Bernard. I think we've got everything. I, I don't remember anything left. Okay. Here, take some painkillers. Oh, thank you. Pain is gone, thank you. I'm still infected. I don't know how much longer I can hold it together. I'd love to drink some booze before I... 
I can help you some work if you want. So let's not give you booze yet. Now sand would be mixed with cement, I'm pretty sure. Cement and like water and sand. Broken gate, spare wire fence. The task would take three hours and 30 minutes. However, you are not alone. Jeremy will help you saving 45 minutes. Father Bernard will help you saving 45 minutes. Bill will help you saving 15 minutes. Therefore, this task will only take one hour and 45 minutes. That's pretty cool. It's a little cool attention to detail. January seems to be out full of fuel. I've connected the wires with the fence. Oh, electrified. Are you sure you want to use the fuel generator? You will not have any fuel left in the canister. It will produce electricity that might come in handy. Is, is there any downside to this? I don't think there was no reason for fuel unless you could start a fire. Okay, connected to the fence. I think we're good here. Good place for a trap. What should I place here? Be sure you want to dig a hole. 705, 2 hours and 55 minutes left. That's going to take 4 hours, however, you're not alone. Jeremy will help you, saving 60 minutes. However, Bernard will help you saving 60 minutes. Bill will help you saving 30 minutes. Therefore, his task will only take one hour and 30 minutes. You can see that time. That time starts shaving down. Okay. Some pointy sticks. Be sure to build a pointed stick trap inside the hole. One hour and 25 minutes left. Task would take two hours. Not alone. Jeremy, Father Bernard, Bill. 30, 30, 15. 45 minutes. Woo, getting a little close. Oh, I just realized I screwed up. When I chopped the wood. If I had the other survivors with me, they would have shortened the task. Now we're going to run out of time and die. Damn. That's why it gave you a chance to delay it. Ooh, I got bamboozled. Ooh. Okay, I've locked the door. God, we're gonna die. Water. Santa water inside. I don't think we're gonna- this is probably gonna take time, right? Mix of cement inside. Shovel? Okay, only takes 10 minutes. Thank God. Oh no! We're just short! We're gonna die! They're just gonna come in for the window! So there's a little escape area, good place to hide. Let's remember this. There's never option to live. But it's gonna be evil. I'm sorry, buddy. First, have a drink. Bill is drunk and doesn't realize what's going to happen. Are you sure you want to use Axe and kill your friend Bill? It's going to probably be messy and probably take a few hits to finish him. At least you put an end to his misery. God. 
had to be done. Let me unlock the door real quick. Jeremy looks at you of terror. Why are you putting this in me? Are you sure you want to use the gun and shoot Jeremy? It will consume one bullet and make a hell of a lot of noise. Yes. So if Robert Bernard saw what you did and runs away, do you want to shoot him too? Damn. Well, we're gonna die. It's just how it is. I was hoping to take everyone with me. Good luck, everybody. The sun has sent a horde of 50 undead arrive. Your reckless shooting caused additional 10 living dead to show up. Ooh. Defense was your first line of defense, powered by the generator fried five meat craving freaks to crisp before electricity went out. After the generator went silent, the fences stopped 15 members of the horde before the rest of them took it down. 20 meat craving freaks fell into the hole, piercing themselves against the pony sticks placed inside. The broken window didn't stop any of the attackers. You were hiding in the cellar, hearing angry growls above your head. The hatch was squeaking under the feet of the undead. It finally broke and five undead corpses fell inside the cellar, instantly breaking the necks. They were no longer a threat, however the remaining 15 one by one fell inside, safely landing on the corpses of their predecessors. Fix the enemy, you drew your gun. You shot two undead right in the head. You run out of ammo. You managed to chop one head off the attackers with your axe. No place to run, no place to hide, 12 of them attacked you. Knock you down and slowly ate you piece by piece. You didn't make it. Yeah. 30 minutes versus... Two hours. Okay. Now we can do this properly. Now, now we're cooking with gas. Open that. That's where we're going to run to in the end. Okay. Been banned. Give me the alcohol. What do we have left to do? Shoot Bill. At least you put an end to his misery. See, it's cleaner than the axe. Close that, and I think that's all we can do. Good luck, everybody. The undead arrive. Your reckless shooting has caused 10 living undead. Defense your first line defense, part of general fried five zombos. After general went silent, the fence stopped 15 undead, for the rest of them took it down. 20 members have fell into the hole, piercing something against the pointy sticks placed inside. Breaking up the window was a good idea. 10 undead creatures tried to enter your hideout for the window, but end up helplessly scratching the bricks. Locked door held long enough to make 10 meat craving freaks lose interest and wire off. Wow, these all left. Didn't even need to use the hatch. And then, no silence. You, Jeremy, and Father Bernard have survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. All right, let's do the, let's do like a bad guy ending. But looks at you, no, not like this, not like a butchered animal. 
Are you sure you want to use axe and kill your friend Bill? Dig the hole. You'll put the crippled Jeremy into your trap by the base. Kavbarad tries to run, but this time I made sure to load. The meat should buy me some time. God! All right, let's do this. The sun has set and 450 undead arrive. 15 additional dead show up. Defense is your first line of defense. Five undead crisp. General Rain goes silent. 50 undead creatures before the rest of them took it down. See down drag fill inside the hole we're able to crawl out. You'll never forget the screams of dying Jeremy and Father Bernard eaten alive by the horde. Ferdy meat craving freaks fully committed to devouring them, leaving you alone. And then, there was silence. You have survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. That was a morbid ending. One, two, three, four, five.